A rolling or a sliding window refers to the technique where we take some sequence, such as this list of numbers, and we then take a fixed number of items, so suppose that was three, we could then take the first three, and then move it forward by one, and then move it forward until we hit the end here. So if we were to do a rolling window of size three, you'd want to see one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five. And we can actually make this just by using the list and zip functions. And to start us off, I'm gonna quickly print off these three things here. And this is going to give us the same list in a number of different ways. And because of the way we've used slicing here, check out what happens in our columns. So we see one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five. I'm going to be using list and zip to basically take advantage of these things here and produce our rolling window. So if these commented out, let's go ahead and set up a new variable. Let's go ahead and say X is going to be a list. We can then pass in zip inside here. And the job of zip is to basically take a range of iterables and effectively stick them all together. So if we were to pass the zip function, these three lists, it's going to stitch together item zero of those three lists. So one of the items in our result, it's gonna be one, two, three, then two, three, four, then three, four, five. So let's build it up. We'll pass in data first, then we'll pass in this, and then finally we'll pass in data two onwards here. Let's now print off X, and here's our result. We see one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five. So just by using the built-in list and zip functions, we can achieve this rolling window effect without the use of any special imports.